Competitive, wealthy, better for business. Today, Alex Salmon tried to rebuild the Yes campaign after a series of knocks. Speaking in Aberdeen, the First Minister insisted that George Osborne's speech last week had backfired. Of course, people do become sick and tired of a succession of day-tripping Conservative ministers flying up to Scotland to deliver lectures and then flying back to Westminster <coughs> again. However, I submit there's a bit more to it than that. No one with a, a semblance of understanding of Scottish history and indeed the, the Scottish character would have made a speech such as the one the Chancellor delivered last week. To be told that we had no rights to assets jointly built up is as insulting as it is demeaning. The SNP leader insisted an independent Scotland could keep the pound and stay in the EU, no matter what other people say. If Scotland walks away from the UK, it walks away from the UK pound. It's not just George Osborne warning about the consequences of an independent Scotland. The president of the EU Commission has said it would be difficult, if not impossible, for them to join the EU. There have been warnings from political heavyweights from all parties. You would think that would be a serious spanner in the works for the Yes campaign. But today, Alex Salmond was really vicious in his counter-attack. According to him, the bullying by an arrogant Westminster elite will merely unite Scots in favour of independence. For columnist Leslie Ridock, George Osborne's pro-union speech last week was a big turn-off. Nobody really likes being told what to do. Um, there's definitely a point where people are scared of, fo of folk in authority, telling them that they're in for a difficult time. But the more that we're hearing that, I think the more it's beginning to, to fall on deaf ears. It didn't take long for David Cameron to attack his rival. He told us that he wanted to have a currency union, and that now looks uh, under threat. He's told us that he wanted Scotland as part of the European Union. That is under threat. And he's making, I think, quite an empty and rather angry speech today. But he hasn't got a plan, and I think people will see that he hasn't got a plan. Despite Alex Salmond's assurances, in Edinburgh, people are still worried about keeping the pound. It is really important, considering we don't seem to have any other options. Um, and it would be hugely inconvenient if we didn't have it. You're not really getting any answers. Everyone's just out to, to hurt the other, other side. The language is getting more aggressive, but the argument is no clearer. In Scotland's capital, people just don't know who to believe. Sophie Bridge, Sky News in Edinburgh.